I am Adolfo Ruiz Calleja and I'm going to present this research work by the GESI Chemi Group of the University of Valladolid. So in this uh, work we explored the research question can we create Moodle tasks so we can offer learning activities in formal environments related to the students informal learning experience and for this purpose we are using uh, open data so we are collecting data from DVpedia, Wikidata and the Open Data Portal of Castilla y León. We are integrating these data sets and then out of this integration we are building a historical building data set that has more than 2,000 descriptions of historical buildings located in Castilla and León. You can have a look at the, at the paper for more details about how this is done. In the presentation I'm going to focus on how we obtain Moodle tasks out of these historical buildings. Uh, for this purpose, we have a task creator and, and a set of templates that we developed in order to say the task creator how these Moodle tasks should uh, be created. Uh, in order to collect the requirements, uh, we interviewed 10 teachers and we analyzed the resources that they used in class, like including virtual learning environments, blogs, and questionnaires. Um, so we, out of this analysis, um, we consider that we have to create Moodle tasks of four types, long answer questions, short answer questions, multiple choice questions, and yes, no questions. And all these questions should be highly personalized as we are going to link these questions to the student's informal learning experience in his daily life. So here is an example of a long answer question. Here is a template and, the, and then one of the resulting questions. So in this, this uh, template is applied to every castle, every entity that is of type castle, and then the constructor says, so find out when, a, when the monument was inhabited, write down a, his, a story that may have happened in this castle, and then it, it goes with the image of the castle. And here you have an example with the castle of Catalanazo. Then uh, we have uh, multiple choice questions, and here this is an well again an example. This example is applied to all churches, castles, and bridges of whose style are either Romanesque, Gothic, Renaissanceist, or Baroque. And then the constructor says, well, basically it asks for the style of the in this case of the castle, and it goes with the uh, image. And then the the destructors are of this list. In other cases, the destructors are obtained from the um, and the, um, the parameter of other elements in the in the data set. But in this case, then here we have a list of the structures. So here is an example of one of these resulting uh, tasks. Here you have a summary of the amount of tasks created. You can see that with 21 templates, we obtained almost 7,600 tasks. And here there are well, like a list of of well, the Moodle activities, that is what we call tasks, uh, from each of the templates. You can see that while well, the effort of creating these templates is much lower than the effort of creating this big amount of activities. So then we can see the, one of the main advantages of this, um, of this approach. The other advantage is that the, all these activities goes, comes with a set of metadata that can relate them to informal learning uh, tasks. You have more details in the manuscript. 